What's going on? We gonna go over a bunch of little stuff in this little video, but we gonna start it off with um, more or less. Um, a lot of y'all know me from YouTube, Thompson's Kennels, but let me give you a little insight on Mr. Thompson, myself. You know, I don't, I'm not no fucking salesman, so y'all don't see me up here trying to sell y'all shit, so I don't have to put on a facade or act a certain kind of way to appease a mass group of people, I pretty much get on here and say whatever the fuck I feel. But we are gonna start off with the YouTube thing like I just said. You know, a lot of y'all know me from this and me with the dogs and being a dog man. Um, I was around animals my whole life. I don't like people. I'ma keep it 100 with you. It's me, my family, and my dogs. That's my circle. I could count my friends on maybe one hand. <laughs> so let's just, let's be honest. I don't like people. I don't anybody who dealt with me. They'll they'll really let you know. He that dude is different. He he stays to himself. You know, don't fuck with him. He he he's a problem. Don't just leave him alone. <laughs> I'm that kind of guy. So I, I I pretty much stay to myself and I I enjoy my animals. You know, over years and years of me doing these videos with these with this family of dogs that I've been breeding, raising, conditioning, the dogs I've moved and all that, I, I've always showed y'all the lineage, my hard work. A lot of people are into these, and let's start this off, this video is not for the bully people, these are for people who are into American pit bull terriers. You got large groups of people that's into these dogs. I become pretty fucking popular. Uh, my name is in a lot of people's mouths out there that I don't know. You know, I I, I kind of keep my ear to the streets. I'm just saying a lot of talk about me, and you know, I become popular from this. And I'm gonna be honest with you. You you a lot of y'all cats don't really know how hard work, the amount of hard work that I put in with these dogs. The amount of hard work that I put into my program. Okay, I don't sell dogs for the public. I don't do breedings that people in the street want. I do what the fuck I want, when I want, how I want. That This is my thing. You feel what I'm saying? This is what I do. I put them out when I, when I want to. I'll wait a year, two years to do a breeding. I, 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 there is no there is no shortcuts in what I'm doing I mean a lot of you guys I used to go on YouTube when I first was trying to like really I was using YouTube as a way to record the lineage of my dogs but then it just got popular and people were wanting to see more dogs and I was like well that's fine I'm killing two birds with one stone I could maybe possibly make a name for myself when I first started this and when I came out you know it, it, it was, I mean, I appreciate everybody who's a fan, you know what I mean? But this is something that I do solely for me. I'm not trying to sell dogs to people. I don't, the worst process of being in a dog, man, is you can't keep every single dog. So you, unfortunately, you got to put dogs in the best situations that you could possibly put them in. That's why very few people get dogs from me and that's just the way it is you know i don't need money from dogs i got money the dogs if these if my animals can take care of themselves that that's where i want to be so when I, I i do a breeding and i sell two or three dogs and i place them in extreme situations where the owners have the equipment the knowledge the talent to be successful with the animals that's where I put my dogs into. I mean, I upped the price just to cut half the bullshit bullshit is away. Because you got a lot of wannabes in this business. And you got a lot of people who want to compete and, and all that. I don't compete with nobody out here. I compete with myself. Because I'm not good at what I fucking do. I compete with myself. I look at everybody else. It's, comp it, it's, it's no competition. It, it's just me. That's the way my thought process is. Y'all can be offended if you want, but I'm just telling you how I think. There is no competition with, with me or anybody. 
I, I am doing what I enjoy doing with the animals that I enjoy doing it with. They bred to the T. They work to the T. I'm into breeding and conditioning. I love pushing these animals physically to a limit where they hit adversity. I love to see what they do. I love to see how they respond to this work that I be giving them. Because this work that I be giving them is real. I showed y'all all kinds of levels of work and schooling with these dogs. There's levels to this shit. All the things that I be telling y'all, that's what I be naming these videos that name. So y'all can really, I mean, the OGs who rock with me, they know what I'm talking about. And I don't have to go deep in the explanation with them. For the young boys who don't really know what's going on, I'll, I'll, I go in depth with y'all just to try to help y'all. I ain't no young boy. <laughs> try to tell y'all this shit, man. I ain't, I ain't, this ain't my first time around the block, cuz. I've been doing this for years. I showed y'all how to progress it. I, it, it wasn't always like this. It started off baby steps. You crawl, then you walk, then you run. It's a process, and nobody wants to put the process in. I mean, buying a bunch of dogs from somebody and then saying you got a, a yard and a program, that's a lie. That means you're a good customer. It's what you do with those animals after you purchase it is what sets you apart. The, the dogs that I sell to people, they take those dogs and they take them someplace else. They put their stamp on it. They do they breedings the way they want to do it. And I stand back and enjoy it because it's like the cycle continues. The blood continues. When I'm not here no more, this Thompson's, this Thompson's names and these Thompson's dogs that you see me producing, they're going to live on. People are going to have these dogs. People are going to be asking, who was this Thompson guy? I stay low key. I don't like people, so I stay to myself, you know? I mean, I, I half the conversations, you know, two or three times in the conversation, you're not knowing I'm going to punch you in the face. That's just my personality. I don't like people. It's real. But when it comes to these dogs, this is, this is my outlet, my family and my animals, you know? So when I put these videos up, it's levels of work recording lineage you've seen a lot of these dogs you've seen when they was in the mother's stomach you've seen them come out the pussy they ain't no filter on this video this is real this is for this is for for the for the older heads if you're young and got little kids this ain't one of them videos for you this is the real like it always is with me <laughs> you gotta put the work in buying a bunch of dogs from somebody and saying you got a yard is the equivalent of you being a good customer. You got to put years and years and years and years into this. That's why I told y'all, if y'all cats who breeding and talking, man, I got more invested in dogs than they will ever pay me back. You feel what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's that real. I got more money invested. I done drove 24 hours, spent... A, a wop and some 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 bread for out not something that's even the primarily part of my program just because i'm using it as a out i want my out to be that pure i want my out to be that good that that's that's the type of work that i put into the program and like i said i became very popular through youtube a lot of people with my name in their mouth it's it's crazy because I'm really not that kind of dude, man. <laughs> but like I said, I I'm this ain't no competition. I see so many young kennels popping up, young guys doing their thing, man. More power to you, cuz do what you do. But do you? It'll it'll never be a competition with me, cause y'all ain't fucking with me, man. Y'all ain't fucking with me. I live, eat, and breathe this shit. You know, a lot of these dudes is chasing ghosts. And what I mean by that, they trying to predicate everything off of one dog. It ain't no such thing as a program off of one dog. A dog has parents. He was produced by something. She was produced by something. Okay? It's no such thing. It's always going to be a family tree 
of dogs. It's never one dog. One dog is not going to make your program. It's not. A great dog, just because a dog is great, you could, you could have the greatest dog in the fucking world. He could do everything you want to do, how you want to do it, got mouth, extreme gameness, and when you breed that motherfucker, he can't produce. He can't produce himself. So what is he worth? That's why you can't, you can't judge dogs the way a lot of these ignorant fucking cats judge dogs. Everything that's great cannot reproduce itself. And everything that may not be great can produce something better than itself. That's how genetics work. You may not be... Mike, Michael Jordan's dad may not have been a great basketball player. But he produced a son that was the greatest of all time. That's how y'all gotta look at shit. Is a difference between having looking for a good dog and a program. Y'all cats who's out here looking for just a good dog, that's not a fucking program. You're looking for, you're chasing a ghost. You may go through a couple of hundred dogs till you find it, and then it still may not be able to reproduce itself. I I'm, I'm a breeder and a conditioner. I want to see a collective unit of dogs that are being bred to their family traits and they reproduce what the family tree is. The numbers are high on the litters. I'm not looking for one good dog out of litter. That's that's not breeding. That's chasing the ghosts. I'm looking for a collective unit of dogs that I can push physically to the extreme level and they will respond from adversity. I'm using big words for you dumb motherfuckers. Uh, I'm trying to... This is going to be a little aggressive video. Because I'm trying to teach y'all something. A lot of y'all young kids who starting up. And y'all got good foundation stuff. But you're going about it the wrong way. Being ignorant and stupid. And exercising the intelligence of a simpleton. Slow your roll. Go through your dogs. And selectively breed. You see that word? Selectively breed. I got a dog, Cookie. She's three years old. She's been bred once. Why? Because I haven't produced the male. I had to wait to produce the male that I would even think about breeding to her. And then I got to raise him and push him to his physical limits before I would even think about breeding him. That's how much is invested in that that move right there so that's the level of work that i'm talking about we ain't talking about slapping the dogs together on the sunday spin around whoever comes in heat breed it and every fucking month coming out with litters of puppies that you don't know nothing about because you ain't finished raising the parents yet you've seen dogs grow up here produced hair brought hair then raised hair you've seen this shit go down all kind of ways that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Take your time. It's levels to this shit, man. I didn't start out on this level. I had to work. Drove countless hours. Countless hours of research. Countless hours of working dogs. Working dogs. To get to this point. It, it, it's not easy. So my advice to a lot of you cats. Take your time. Be cognizant and don't throw rocks when you live in a glass house. Respect the game and respect the grind. Because my grind is, is for real. My hustle is strong. I, I ain't bullshitting y'all, man. Like I said, I'm, I'm excited. I waited some years to do my little breeding that I just did with Manny and Mary. So it's, it's one of those kind of things. But I had to get certain things on the yard first, raised up. It's work, man. It ain't easy, cuz. It's real work. And I don't mind it, cuz I love doing it. You could bullshit out in the streets with your friends. I'm out here with my dogs working. You're gonna have to outwork me to beat me. That's the problem. Y'all lack discipline. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna have a competition, you better be ready to fucking work, man. A lot of cats ain't putting that time in. They talking it, but they not living it. Yeah, I mean, this is this another summer coming up. 
I don't want to hit no bumping of the gums. Let's see the work. This is the Thompson's Kennels production. Y'all have a nice day.